Good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you? Very well, thank you. Merry Christmas to you. Same to you and uh, Happy New Year. What's the name again? My name is Rume, sir. Who? Rume. Rume Paulson. Rume. Paulson. Your yes. father's namesake. Come, come ah, to okay. All right. And um, Nyamgul. Uh, who is the gentleman? Nyamgul. Nyamgul Agaji. Okay, it's Christmas, and uh, we're... Uh, really, it's Christmas. It's, it's not Christmas. like... It's, <laughs> we're talking about it for so it's, long. It's Christmas, I okay. I remember when you said the 12th, when we were yeah. on the 4th of the year. Yes. So. Finally, it's Christmas. Finally, and, it's Christmas you know, Day. And the world is moving from, uh, from, from, I don't know, at a pace that we cannot even uh, align with, a pace that is even more, faster than we anticipated. It's a digital world now. Uh, but there is this, this need for more humanity in this digital world. So this topic, a digital world needing more humanity, is what we'll be addressing now. And we have a public affairs analyst, Mr. Paul Ejime, who is uh, joining us to talk about it. Good morning and welcome, sir. Thank you for having me. And uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas and, to you, uh, sir. We hope that um, the remaining parts of the year will be uh, better. Um, Amen. than what we have had Amen. and then as we embrace um, a brand new year with uh, great opportunities good health and uh, all that we wish everyone wish for himself or herself Amen, Amen to, to that. that. Okay, so a digital world needing more humanity. A, a lot of us have uh, a lot of people have felt that in a digital world um, life has become so easy uh, you can sit in the comfort of your house and get everything done. Everything, including marriage. Because I've seen <laughs> where, where people are getting married and the officiating minister is on Zoom. Mm -hmm. uh, so everything, or someone is even getting married yes. in Nigeria and the other people. And the groom or the, the bride yeah, is on Zoom. Country, yeah, right. so we've seen things. But, you know, there's this angle of humanity that may be... May, be, may not be as much as it should be. Let's have more light on uh, uh, why there is need to even talk about this at this time. So, well, it's, um, that's actually the title I give. Usually every festive period, I try to uh, pick a topic that uh, we can reflect on as people um, drink, uh, eat, and make merry. Mm. Uh, not to forget the reason for the, uh, the season. Uh, season. That's right. So that was what I thought about this uh, world. Our world, like you said, is um, on the uh, click of a button. You can do everything. There is uh, e-cooking, there is e-medicine, there is e-agriculture, and e-everything. In fact, uh, now you can, uh, they are producing um, with AI, uh, artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. you can virtually create a world of your own. Uh, the only thing lacking is um, that um, human um, thought. You cannot really replace a, a human being. And that is why the Creator um, is, the, is the Almighty. Uh, we have tried. We can make a man go to the moon. Uh, uh, nobody has been to the sun yet. But <laughs> see, everything go to all the planets. Uh, invent as many things as possible. There is... Um, technological developments that, um, remember this phone that we have today, um, the evolution is interesting. You used to have a very big, um, you know, typewriter, uh, teleprinter, and so on, and then it went to laptop, and so look at what we have here now. Now, they're even trying to even uh, create chips that um, with which you can maybe put it in your body, you can talk and do everything. But we, just as uh, we have all these, uh, these are good, you know, very um, beneficial to humanity. You can do things much faster. You can with tasks. And then, um, uh, you know, time news is no longer, or uh, information flies um, even faster than, um, than light. Uh, that what you are doing here, look at, we are doing so. Um, you are there in Lagos, I mean, another uh, part of the world, and it travels uh, with the speed of, even faster than the, the speed of light. But there are also some downside to it, and that is what uh, the humanity aspect is talking about. 
that um, a, a human being has a soul, it has body, it has spirit. Uh, but these other creations lack all this. They can do the task, robotics and all that, drone and everything. But it takes, um, they, they don't have consideration like a human being. They don't have empathy. They, they do not um, breathe. They, they don't uh, feel. And then uh, they can't touch. Or you can only operate them in the human creation. But what has happened to man or woman that has been the cre who creates all these things? What are we losing humanity? It appears we are. Because we are no longer, forgiveness has been thrown overboard. We are getting too, uh, 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 you know, uh, tight up. We are getting angry. We are getting, um, the, the, you know, the, shoe, the fuse is shorter. We are angry. We are aggressive. We are in a hurry to, to move to the point that uh, we no longer, look at what is happening in, in Gaza. Look at what is happening in the, between them. Uh, 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 Russia and um, and and um, uh, Ukraine, or can we come to Africa, uh, where some of uh, the countries are um, diseases have taken over, hardship. There is um, there are coups, more coups now, as if we are going back to the uh, you know in the 90s and the early 2000s. So are we actually maximizing the use of uh, these digital um, appliances? or technology. I think that is the interrogation that we need to take. We need to introspect. We need to reflect on it. We need to ask ourselves to pause and ask whether we are actually on the right path. Perhaps okay. is a technology, technological advancement. Yes, it's good. But what are the, are the downside? Can we address that so that we, man or human, the humanity can now, can, cannot lose all that it has? We used to have values. Look at look, uh, with uh, more than twenty thousand people killed in in Gaza and counted, and the world is just there in the conspiratorial uh, 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 gauge. I think they cannot, they can't do anything. Is human life worth it, or do we now value um, um, devices more? My phone, my laptop, my um, uh, camera, my appliances. Do we value those things now more than uh, the human life? So um, this is the the, the, the the big question that um, we should be asking before we totally lose it. Because it appears the falcon can no longer fa uh, hear the falcon, and at is falling apart. Uh, to quote, um, you know, Nigeria's uh, international renowned uh, 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 novelist uh, Chinua Achebe, his uh, icon, uh, uh, you know, the book that he wrote. Yeah. Are we losing it? So these are the questions. More questions than answers. Maybe you, you guys, you are the okay, okay. Medicine, the, young, the younger people. You have, you have I'm the, not. Uh, I'm so old school. I'm not. Well, I'm young. <laughs> anyway, so my question is, um, you, you talked about maximizing the digital world. So how can we maximize it um, in order to enhance the humanity that we're talking about that we need? Um, we're saying the digital world needs more humanity. So how can we maximize it, harnessing more humanity that can benefit us? Okay, I think we have to go back to the basics, and that is the family. If you notice, the family is the nucleus of is, is the foundation mm -hmm. of every society. Right. But you notice that family is no longer working. That that, that that dysfunctionality has rubbed off on the society. You see that um, parents are were searching for this technological uh, the quest for all these devices and then commercialization, materialism, they are no longer taking, the, you know, taking their duties uh, or responsibilities, uh, you know, uh, with some seriousness. Every, remember, some of us, you know, you remember, I don't know, to be in the, uh, uh, on, uh, in, in the office this time, I don't know where you woke up <laughs> or when you, you, you knocked off uh, yesterday. Mm. So there is no time. And then you have to rush um, career. You have to come to the office. And uh, now maybe you are, you will build a family. You will have children. You are supposed to give, give them, you know, uh, develop these children to, with uh, some values, and then to be able to face the, the world, you know. But what are we having? 
we now have a situation where perhaps you will leave uh, before the children uh, Wake will, up. will, will, will mm -hmm. rise and then come back perhaps when they are asleep. Because we are chasing materialism. We want to be known. We want to get, um, you know, the things that will make uh, the net. We want uh, houses. We want uh, food. We want uh, cars mm -hmm. and everything. So the same thing with the man. The husband is there. The two of you are now out on the field. Nobody is taking, you probably leave the children with, um, um, you know, a maid or a nanny and so on. So there is no bond, you don't bond anymore. And the child does not, you know, looks at the parents as if they are strangers. But it is that, that is where it starts. Because you will say, there's so much um, crime in the society. It's fine. But who, where, where do these people, where do those criminals come from? They are, they are people's children. What happened? It is that disconnect. They didn't get uh, perhaps the. Of course, there are those who have, um, uh, you know, uh, the intention, the the, the life fingers we call them, or those that are criminally minded. But if you interrogate some of them, or those who are involved in any crime, you know that perhaps it is the society that has failed them. They didn't get the the, the kind of or a little girl that will take to prostitution or a child that will be smoking, you know, their drug addicts and all that. Mm. It's because nobody was there for them to tell them, well, listen, what you are doing is wrong. And so they grow with this, thinking that it is, um, you know, it is the fashion. And then they become adults, um, you know, move from um, child, um, kindergarten to um, adolescence, then they become adults. And there is, at that point, there is nothing you can do. Because uh, you know you can't bend them, you can't bend something that uh, is already has a, it's a, that's uh, strong. So mm. that is where we have to go to make sure that the values that um, uh, world as society around that um, we, we do not destroy them, that the, the, the fabrics of society are not uh, demolished. You see, I, I mentioned that uh, what appears to be happening in the world with um, defense industries. They're the one. Uh, encouraging these wars everywhere because they want to sell arms, okay? And then they tell you, look at the destruction in in in, uh, in Ga uh, Gaza. They are, they are destroying that, and they will tell you the next thing they say they will rebuild. Who are the people going to rebuild? The contrast will probably be given to the, some of these countries. This something happened in Iraq. It happened in Afghanistan, and then um, Libya. These are almost failed states now. And it appears the, the world is not learning anything, you know, or the, 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 the you know, um, the, 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 if you, and they say if you fail to learn from history, it will teach you a very hard lesson. So we need to now begin from the home, then go to the schools. I mean, look at some of the things they are teaching in school now. Um, it's not what, um, they are living perhaps history. They are living things that uh, they won't teach you about how, to succeed, um, you know, with um, hard work. It mm -hmm. is the easy way they will teach you that you, mm -hmm. you now leapfrog some of those um, uh, processes. But there cannot be progress without process. I mean, no matter, and there cannot be, uh, 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 you know, uh, prog you know, results or some, you know, without uh, examination, promotion without examination. You need to pass through. We, we are trying to circumvent. There are so many shortcuts. But you are warned that when you are going for a short part always ends up becoming the long the longest of the uh, routes to your destination. Yeah, really? my, my people say shortcuts usually gives you bleeding nose. <laughs> <laughs> so don't take a shortcut. Uh, but let's just uh, reminisce a little bit. Some of us are old school. They, um, uh, the BBC, born before computers. So, Ooh, <laughs> so, look at so we, that. Yeah, that, that's the BBC mm. that we are. We were born before computers. But now, uh, let's, just, um, let's just look at old school, what happened. Because you said something that we had values then, and these values are no longer there. Now, the only value people think is the thinking money. Yes. And that was not the value when I was growing up. That things. was not value. We were, people were modeled according to some people that they saw in society as role models. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, it's a different ballgame. So... Can we have an outline of some of these values that you think should be brought back that are no longer here? We're just looking at our phones and looking at our computers and leaving what is the main value of being a human being. 
Well, they are there. One of them these days is uh, good and bad. You should know when something is good right. and then when it is bad. No matter how the spin you want to put on it, um, it is not good. And it's also very easy to do good. Then it's a lot harder to do bad. If you want to plan, you need to plan so that uh, in secret, so that nobody you know tells you uh, or catches you. But in doing good, if I want now to give you something of uh, pleasant, uh, I don't need to hide. I will come and say, ah, uh, brother, this is what I'm... But if I wanted to harm you, I will have to do it in a, you know, in a clandestine, a secret way. Yeah. So values are those things that, uh, 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 you know, uh, they are the bedrocks of, uh, of society. They are the pillars. And once uh, they are, they are uh, 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 destroyed, the, the, the society will, will go with it. Like, um, you know, respect. Like uh, humanity. Uh, no, like, um, what is it? Um, 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 somebody being, uh, having empathy. You know, you see something, good Samaritan, you know? You find something on the, uh, somebody who is, uh, for instance, bleeding. Somebody who is, uh, who, who is in need. There are so many needs around us. But we tend to uh, ignore them. We, we are in a hurry. Somebody is uh, uh, maybe having a challenge, a health challenge, has fallen on the on the street or something, or there is an accident, and you find people instead of trying to help, they are taking uh, uh, taking pictures to post on their um, you know social media about what is happening. Whereas they could have saved uh, lives, they could have saved the situation. We find teams planning how to uh, invade or, uh, uh, a house. And then all you do is to be taking pictures and not uh, informing authorities. Mm -hmm. Or or some uh, uh, a child that is in danger, some uh, boys are going to attack her. And then all you do, you want to take pictures, images to post, instead of challenging them. Now, or a police uh, a security uh, persons, when you get to them, you bring somebody that is, that has, uh, is a suspect. And before you know it, they are released into the, into the system. Uh, that is part of what we have now. That the, the security and uh, security operators can no longer deal with. Uh, 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 look at it, um, uh, Boko Haram, because you go and um, attack. I, I listened to one of the uh, senior uh, military officers to say to saying that they they arrest these people and then put them somewhere. Before you know it, they are released, and then they come after those who have given information. For their for the arrest, these are the you know dysfunctionalities in the system. This, in in those days, that you were told that good name is better mm. than riches. But today, a Yahoo boy, a thief, a criminal will be flaunting their loot. In fact, um, you'll be hailing them, uh, Babao. You do not interrogate their sources of wealth. Somebody you know, maybe your classmate, suddenly has become so wealthy. Or they, they go because the easiest thing now to do is to join politics. Mm -hmm. um, and then after well, one or two years, they have put up, you know, many mansions. They are now moving with uh, security details. They are moving with um, uh, villain proof, uh, proof uh, vehicles. They have built so many houses. And the, the, way, the lifestyle would have changed. And then you say, for well, some boys will say, I want to be like that guy. They are not looking at the guy, guy who has sold because before you you begin to reap, you have to sow. And when you sow, you have to water the ground, you have to do the weeding before harvest. But now it appears that people want to harvest even without sowing. So and if you go the, on this route, there is there will be no development because you still have to come back. This will, is not sustainable. Something you gain from that you did not follow process. They talk about new process. You see some people stealing from the offices, from where they work. Uh, the accountant general helping himself. Um, the, uh, CJ, uh, um, uh, somebody working at the central bank or the banks because they, they have access to money. They are helping themselves. Or the, uh, the, the judges or lawyers now taking money from their clients. Instead of how will they now how will somebody who has committed a crime and then 
there is no consequence. There is no uh, repercussion. The instead, your lawyer tells you how to evade the law, how you now, you would have seen that somebody has committed crime. But of course, you have to prove it. But in the public uh, domain, it is seen that this is the guy that did it. But because he has money, he finds his way, he can buy justice. He can buy decisions. Or with money, you can now become everything. You can win elections. You know, these are things that have now destroyed society. Unless and until we go back to the basis to respect things that uh, keep society together, which are the values. You know, the good must be separated from the bad. You know, uh, they say one bad apple spoils the whole lot. But now, you will, people don't even care. They say, yeah, you know, get as many apples. Uh, one is not uh, an issue. Mm. One is an issue because you, by the time you have two, you have you add three. What you now have is uh, uh, a basket that is full of uh, all bad apples. So before the bad ones contaminate the good in our society, the good will have to rally to do something. Don't say it is not my business. Oh, you find something going wrong. Because if you don't ask, there is a story about, you know, when uh, 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 in the house, nobody paid attention. The rat was complaining that they were setting trap for it. Mm -hmm. Nobody cared until everybody, the cork in the house was used to um, uh, for pepper soup when uh, the, um, the, 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 the wife, uh, the, the madame in the house had a, a snake that bite. And the goat, the cow, they were all they became victims. They were mm. killed, they, you know, in celebration because nobody listened to the rat when he was complaining that there was a, a, a trap uh, in the house. If you okay, don't sir. complain, if you don't talk when somebody is uh, uh, to save a victim, if you don't stand, stand up for something, mm. you may fall for everything. Well, that is true. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going to wrap up quickly, but I just want like three key strategies on... Um, what we can do because you talked about people maybe someone is sick or someone is dying and everyone is bringing their phones especially for someone who's as young as I am most times we're we love cloud we love social media we want to make sure that everybody mm -hmm. can see and we're, we're kind of clickbait so we're looking for the views and we feel like when we do this definitely the views will come and sometimes that can translate into money so there's still the money factor um, as well so for us to detach ourselves from all of this from the fact that you know you you need humanity you need to care for that person you need to care for the next person um if we do that obviously things in gaza that's happening right now would not be happening but if you can just give us key strategies like two or three for us to wrap up this segment yeah and um, where where do we start from yes yeah, you know who can drive this process of the reorientation of our psyche right okay um one i would say from a little corner, we can do something. Mm. Don't think that because you are, you know, what can I do? I'm just one single person. They, they say, if you want to know how uh, uh, so a, small, a small thing, or how powerful so a sp uh, small can be, try to sleep in a room, a uh, locked room with a, uh, uh, mosquito. With a mosquito. <laughs> By the time you, end, you, you wake up the following morning, you will ask you will be asking yourself, ah, is it this little um, insect that has done this damage? Because it will take you to hospital, it will deny you, you won't go to work, and then man hour will be lost, and then you are spending money. Mm. That is the uh, power of uh, doing the little that you can that will add, you know, into uh, the mighty one. You know, a little drop they say makes the ocean. Mighty ocean. Don't think that uh, from your end that you there's nothing you can do. So it begins with you. It begins with me. The change that we want in a society, in any society, begins with us. It's not that um, don't think that you are going to change the world by just waking up one morning and then using the cane to do that. So example, you know, with yourself. If um, in that town where everybody is uh, doing. I can tell you that the crowd can be wrong. Yeah, they, they can be mad. You know, that's the, the impression, expression uh, away from the maddening crowd. Be the difference. You know, make a difference in everywhere you are. Is it in the from starting from your home to where you work in that um, uh, uh, 
plus uh, TV Africa yeah. in, uh, in the market. Uh, everywhere you go, try to make sure that the, you are disciplined, that you are from a you know responsible family. It will take time, and uh, when we do that, we are now also um, expecting, challenging those in authority because to do something. We, we used to have the national orientation. Well, we used to have the um, um, uh, MAMSA, ma, you know, ma, mass mobilization. I don't know whether you knew about it. That yeah, was, MAMSA, uh, yes. Uh, 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 yes. The, we used to have, uh, you know, um, uh, discipline, you know, what is it called? Uh, prison, um, I don't know what uh, the former president, what he did. Discipline. Kick against you. Discipline. Hi. People were made to, no, to we're kill, against indiscipline. you know, and then, but that was, uh, you know, uh, uh, forced. Now, because the same people, for instance, uh, the same Nigerian that will refuse to queue in uh, Lagos or Abuja, by the time he comes to, Brit you know, uh, Europe, you are not going to, you won't be the one to tell him or her to queue. So it says something that is in the society. That is that uh, enables this um, uh, uh, impunity. Mm -hmm. It is a society. How society is run that enables um, you know creates the kind of uh, behavior. If uh, behaviors are not punished, there is no consequence for bad behavior. It will it will uh, you know uh, explode. Yeah. But when you now have uh, laws, laws are meant to regulate society. So, but let's begin from ourselves. Okay. And also, now impart those that are around us. If you're a father, bring up your children to, to see that what the others are doing may be in, in fashion, may be popular uh, culture, mm. but it is not the value that anybody can be quit. Okay. When you do that, the woman will also do that, the teacher, the policeman, uh, the civil servant, you know that every time we blame the, the high ups, the uh, permanent us. secretary, minister, uh, politician. But you know that messengers are also uh, a problem. Mm -hmm. So it, it cuts across yes, the sir. whole structure of society. Okay. But from right, our little sir. corner, yes, let sir. us do something. Let us show example. Right. Let us, um, you know, be the change. That we want to see thank yeah. you thank, thank you, you so, so much, much. Yeah. thank you so much for joining us and just you know shedding more light on this and i'm sure that um by god's grace we will start to look more into humanity and even with our digital world thank you so much for joining the program and merry thank christmas you to you merry christmas merry christmas yes. and i'm waiting for my uh, hand file no problem we got you <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> No problem. Okay. All right. We'll be talking to Paul Ejime. He's a public affairs analyst. And we'll be talking about the need for the digital world to have more humanity. Yeah. Well, um, it's been a good Christmas Day celebration yeah. here in the studio. And we're so happy that you joined the program. And I'm sure you've had a good time. Eat your chicken or, or look at the photograph of a chicken. <laughs> it's still chicken, something. Chicken. It's still chicken. But the thing is, be happy today. That's yes. the main thing. And spread love. There's so much just a smile can do. Mm -hmm. So smile at the next person, uh, not that you show that you're colomental, eh? <laughs> but just smile at the next person and make them feel comfortable. That's yeah. the reason for the season. Show Spread, that love. Yeah. It doesn't have to be money all Spread the Spread love and laughter yeah. and be merry, be merry. Also have a heart of gratitude. I think mm -hmm. that's where I'm going to leave it yeah. here. Have a heart of gratitude. Yeah. You've seen this year, you've seen Christmas 2023. Not everyone is privileged to see this day but you are and that should count to something so merry christmas to you merry man. christmas to you from everyone yeah. here on the breakfast team and everyone here and at floss tv we want to say merry christmas to you and we wish you a very happy new year in advance as well but we'll see you again tomorrow my name is rumet paulson and i am nyamgul agadi bye for now bye